how to recolor shapes in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC220. Just selecting the shape there, and you can see there like rectangles and circles. They're all shape layers. You can see those in the layers panel. So window and layers and properties. They're the key panels. You can change the color of all of the shapes. So rectangles, custom shapes, ellipses, etc. Using the rectangle, go to the tools panel. You can change the color by using any of those tools, the rectangle, ellipse, etc. With one of those tools selected, you can go up to the fill at the top of the application. You can see the color matches the current color of the shape. Click on the color panel. You can change it to a solid color, gradient or pattern, green, blue, etc. Go and select another shape, such as another rectangle. You can then go to any of the shape tools. Doesn't matter that it's a rectangle. You could use the polygon tool, etc. You can then change the color of that rectangle independent of the first shape. You can do the same for all of the other shape layers, custom shapes, ellipses, polygons, etc. With the rectangle selected, go to the properties panel. Now this will only work for rectangles and ellipses. In the middle of the panel, you can see exactly the same as the earlier fill. So you've got the fill as well as stroke, etc. The options are exactly the same as before. So you can change it to red, green, blue, etc. as well as a gradient or pattern. All the presets in your panel will be available. So you can change the gradient, patterns, etc. to all kinds of different super colorful designs. The fill color is only available with rectangles and ellipses. If you select a triangle, as well as a custom shape, etc., the fill option is not available. If it's a rectangle or ellipse, you can change the color via the properties. Selecting the triangle, etc., you will only notice the density, etc., settings. If you have got lots and lots of shapes, you can select them all. And then you'll see in the properties, there's nothing. The panel will be empty. However, if you select the rectangle or any number of rectangles, as well as the ellipse and any number of ellipses, the fill option will be available. You can go to the properties panel and click on the fill color. You can then change the color for all of the selected designs. They will all end up the same color, a gradient pattern, etc. You can make them all yellow, blue, green, etc. Select the polygon shape or custom shape and you won't be able to change them all. Personally, I prefer to change the color by double clicking on the shape in the layer. So simply just go over to the layer panel, double click the entry, the thumbnail there, and it will bring up a panel and you can change the color. You can change that for all of them. Again, custom shape as well. If you wish to change the color, just double click on there at the entry and then change the color, click OK. Now I'm going to select that shape. And what you can also do, you can go to a layer menu and you can go to layer style and you can go down to color overlay. And you can add some color. So you can see now it becomes blue. You can also change the blending mode and opacity. If you do that, you can then change it at any point later. You can also go to the layer menu and layer content options and change the color there. 
bit more limited because what happens, you can't change it to a gradient or pattern. If it's a gradient, you can't change it to a solid colour. What you can also do with all of those shapes, you can always go to layer menu and smart objects and convert to a smart object. As a smart object, you can go to the image menu and adjustments. Any adjustments will be still editable. Use hue and saturation, color balance, color lookup, etc. And then you can tweak the color for that shape. And none of the other shapes are touched. Now you can add adjustment layers on top of the entire lot. But that's not so flexible if you've got lots of shapes and you want to change the color for each of those individually. Also, you can go to Filters menu and Camera Raw Filter and change the color there. And of course, you may have third-party color plugins that you can use to change the color as well. Many exist. And you can see you can change the color there. And of course, one thing you can do, it's a smart filter, smart object. You can always change that at a later point. And you can do the second same for the other one. Personally, I find the layer panel approach much easier to change the colors. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, and many others. Please add some comments, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.